Hey, I'm Rob, and we're going to check out this Yamaha 871. We've got a pretty nice horn this week. This is a Yamaha 871. It is one of their new Geyer style instruments. It is one of their custom horns. Just a quick overview of the body here. You can see all the levers. You got your first, second, third, and your fourth. And as you can tell, the valve caps are brass or gold colored, and they have engravings on them. The overall wrap is a Geyer style. You can tell because the exchange valve, this one here, is below the rest of them. This horn has the same kind of specs as my 671 that we looked at way back at the beginning of the series, but it has uh, just a few things that are slightly different with it. One of the first differences you'll be able to notice right away is the valve caps. They are in brass color rather than silver. They all have these nice little engravings on them. Another difference that you'll notice almost right away is that the horn is unlacquered. It's no longer uh, quite as shiny as it used to be, although you can see some of the shine still in the bell here. Just from holding it in my hands, it's a little bit lighter than the 671. This part of the horn here, the throat, it feels a little bit bigger than my 671 as well. This horn has a lot of similarities as my 671. Some of the similarities include the levers, they're all string, including the B-flat exchange valve here. The mechanism to adjust the B-flat exchange valve is also the same. I believe that's standard on all Yamaha instruments. The wrap style of this horn is a Geyer style because you have the exchange valve below the rest of the valves there. You can see the F-branch coming in from the top. This horn doesn't have a standard fixed pinky hook. It has an adjustable one. So you can see the set screw there and it's adjustable. So you can rotate it, you can bring it up or down, you can do, you can angle it different ways, out or in, really quite useful. Let's go ahead and take a listen. some final thoughts. I think it's a really nice horn. It's got a very nice open sound. Because it has a larger throat, it plays bigger and more open than my 671. It feels like a more like a crusty style horn. Probably politically incorrect, but that's just what I think. That's all for now. I'll see you guys next week.